Hello everyone, welcome to 369 Chemistry and in this video we are going to discuss about your isomerism in coordination compounds. So it's a very important topic, examinations or competitive examination or even in your cl uh, class 12 uh, examinations also, you are going to get one question from this topic, it will come, uh, come. okay. So what I, we are going to do, first we will see the different kind of isomerisms it has and I will explain each one in details with examples also we will be doing after this, uh, you know, after finishing the uh, explanation. So please be till the end of the video so we know it has two type of isomerism first is your structural isomerism structural isomerism it is same you can say a little bit more uh, same as uh, you know in we have in your organic chemistry and the other one is your geometrical uh, isomerism Okay, so first isomerism in your structural isomerism, there are many, and then in geometrical isomerism also, there are many types. So we'll discuss each one in details. The first one is your ionization isomerism. So what happens in your ionization isomerism? In ionization isomerism, different ions in solution, although they have same composition. In ionization isomerism, what happens is that uh, ionization isomers yields different ions in solution, although they have same composition. This type of isomerism is due to the change of the groups between the complex ion and the ions outside. So for example, if we take CONH3, whole 5, Br, okay, SO4, okay, and if you take CO nh 3 so 4 br so in what happens in ionization isomerism in this you know if you uh, if you dissolve this in solution what happens is that they, they form uh, different ions okay and what happens it goes uh, and exchanges its position in the solution okay so this one is red velvet color is of red velvet color okay and in solution it gives a precipitate of barium sulfate barium sulfate and with uh, with BaCl2 confirming the presence of sulfate ions. So you can find the sulfate ion SO4 2 minus ions in solution. That means in solution they break down into ions like SO4 2 minus ions and your this Br minus ions. So and they exchange the position. See if in this case it was uh, in this position sulfur so, so it, it was outside the box whereas it uh, in this one it came in inside the box. Okay and this is red and it does not give a test, test of sulfate. It does not give a test of sulfate. Instead in solution what happens is that okay it gives precipitate precipitate of silver bromide with your silver nitrate when we treat it with silver nitrate what it gives it gives you silver bromide so just confirming the presence of bromide ion in, in the solution so here the solution confirms the presence of sulfate and here the solution confirms the presence of bromine ion so that means in these kinds of kind of complex compounds in solution they break down into different ions especially sulfate ions whenever you will find in any questions remember that that is your ionization isomerism hmm. there are many other examples also if you uh, there are many other examples such as your platinum ammonium this one Okay, basically there will be sulfur, SO4, SO4, okay, so you can understand that that is your, you can say ionization isomerism because it will break down into different ions, okay, which will come inside the coordination sphere and outside the coordination sphere, they will exchange their positions, okay, see this SO4 came here and here there is OH, old. so it has exchanged the position, okay, inside and outside the bracket after dissolving in the solution, so this is called your ionization isomerism. The second, the second one is B, that is your hydrate isomerism hydrate isomerism so the name itself says that there is the most effective coordinating agents because water is the most effective coordinating agents therefore the number of water molecules which may enter into the coordination sphere may vary resulting in the formation of your hexahydrates of the chromium chlorides and the empirical formula of these hydrates they are of different colors okay so for example if you say see this hexahydrate chromium uh, chromium chloride okay so this is your violet in nature okay this is your three ion chlorine three ion chlorine that means you know the water molecules will be there more in these compounds and they will uh, they will interchange their positions okay the second is the same see this way see there is what happens the chlorine and water molecule is the same that means the ligands are your mostly the water molecule which you know which just change the position and gives you hydrate isomerism so this is your dark bluish in color bluish green this color is your bluish green okay and the other one you have 
whole 6 Cl2. This is your Cl dot twice H2. This is your dark green in color. Okay, so these hydrate uh, isomerism, what they give different colors, okay, when they are coordinated differently, okay, inside and outside. So these kind of isomers, which you give different colors, are called your hydrate isomers. And the most important, the ligand, which is in which is in most amount here, that is your water molecule. So the next isomerism, number three, is your linkage isomerism. This isomerism occurs when two or more atoms in a monodentate ligand, monodentate ligand may function as a donor. For example, in case of NO2, here nitrogen, okay, and oxygen, they are both donor atom. That means it can bond like this O and O, or it can bond as NO2 also, SCN and your NCS. Okay, so these are the different sites. This here the sulfur is the donor atom. Here the nitrogen is donor atom. Here the oxygen is donor atom. Here the nitrogen is donor atom. And even either a nitrogen or an oxygen atom may act as a give, giving two different isomers. Thus, two different isomers with the molecular formula is formed. Like C O N O two N H three O five two plus. It can it can behave here. The one we can draw like this. Cobalt. Hmm. N H three N H three H H H three N, okay, N H three, N H three, O N O C. This is one hmm, where the oxygen is uh, getting and uh, you know attacking the ligand, and here see. Here see N O two. Hmm. So in li linkage isomerism, these ligands they will have two donor atoms and they can attack and uh, they can form. Okay, so these are your linkage isomerism where there is an embedded nucleophile or ligand which has two donor atoms. Okay, and which can rearrange to give you two different molecules. Okay, so this is your penta amine nitro nitrito cobalt cobalt. 3 ion okay and in this one is your penta amine amine nitro cobalt 3 ion okay this one is nitrito and this one is your nitro so there is difference okay so these kind of isomerism is called your linkage isomerism and the fourth one is your coordination isomerism coordination Okay, so what are these isomerism? Here, these type of isomerism is possible when both positive and negative ions of the salts are in the complex. Okay, and the two uh, the two isomer differ in the distribution of the ligand. So see here, example by example, you will understand numbers. And see here, the positive and the negative, it has. See, in this case, these are two isomerism. The, uh, this is one compound. This is another compound. See here, here the positive. This is the positive ion. Okay, and this is the negative ion. So here it is. Uh, first it is with cobalt, and here cyanide is with chromium. Here cyanomium, and your uh, cyanide is cyanide ion with your cobalt okay so here see these uh, there is a these isomer differ in the distribution of the ligand so ligand uh, the before it was here and here uh, with ammonia was with cobalt and now uh, with cobalt there is cyanide ion so there is a positive one and there is a negative negative ion both they are together in a coordination complex but they differ only in the distribution of the ligand so their position has changed their distribution has changed so there are some more examples okay we'll take some more examples like this so these are called your coordination isomerism. The these are isomerism which is caused by interchange of the ligands between the two complex. So there is interchange of these ligands. Hmm, there is interchange of the positive ligand and the negative ion interchange of the ligands between the two complex. So these are two complexes. So there is interchange of ligands between the that is your coordination position isomer. This is due to the difference in the distribution of the ligands in two coordination centers. Generally, the bridge complexes involving different ligands shows this uh, isomerism. So, those which are bridge complexes, they show this kind of isomerism and they differ in the position. Okay, so they, uh, they differ in the distribution of the ligands in two coordination centers. Okay, so I will give you an example that time you will understand. See this. OH. Okay, so these two, uh, see here, these two, this is your unsymmetrical molecule. 
why see here it is four uh, ammonia and here see it, there is only two ammonia here it is three ammonia here also three ammonia so uh, like in so we can say uh, this is one is your symmetrical one okay they are bridged okay so see here these type the, these type of isomerism is due to the difference in the distribution of the ligands into coordination centers see here there are two coordination center hmm? this is one coordination center this is one coordination center and this is another second coordination center here also this this is your one coordination center this is another coordination center okay second coordination centers okay distribution of the ligand they differ differ in the distribution of the ligands here see here is, there is only four ammonia and here it is two and here it is three ammonia and here it is three ammonia. so this is unsymmetrical one and this is symmetrical one so this kind of isomerism where there is a difference in the distribution of ligand in the two coordination centers generally these are bridge complexes they only will form your coordination position isomerism okay so there is another isomerism in the same category that is your ligand isomerism. So, isomerism. Okay. So, what are these? See, if I give you example, then you will understand more. CH2, CH3. This is NH, NH2, and this is your NH2. Here, it is your 1 comma 2 di amino, 1 comma 2 di amino propane. 1 and 2. Another one. See here, this is 1 comma 3 di amino propane. Okay, so this isomerism arises in the complexes in which two ligands, ligands are isomers themselves. So there are two ligands, they are isomers themselves. So there is a change in the positions. One, position number two, one then here it is position number one and position number three. These type of complexes are called your ligand isomers. Okay. Let us solve some examples now so that you are thorough with the isomerism in your coordination compounds. So these are repeated questions which came in different competitive examinations. So be patient and uh, you please concentrate. See here, this is uh, here. See you have to match the list and you have to find the answer. Which one isomerism does it follow? So the first one, see if there is ammonia group, there is NO2 group. Whenever there is nitro group, you always should be it should be linkage isomerism. Why? Because NO2 can form link linkage with NO2 with uh, ligand um, with nitrogen and also with oxygen. So it forms NO2 and O and O also. So it is linkage isomerism. So A is 2. B, now this is ammonia group, sul sulfate and bromine ion. So whenever there is a sulfate and bromine ion, there is a, you know, the positive and the negative. So what it forms in solution, it will form an ions. It will dissolve itself and to give the sulfate an ion, SO4 2 minus ion and Br plus. So these kind of isomerism, they interchange their, uh, they, inter they interchange in solution they, and they come into the brackets and they form your, your, your ionization isomerism because they ionize themselves in solution. Now see this ammonia this one ammonia uh, there is nh3 group there is cyanide ion here it is cobalt and here it is chromium so they can interchange and form your coordination isomerism since there is d it has water molecule so it will form solvate isomerism so d is number one so your answer is number a okay Hmm. So, see here the another question CO NH3 whole 5 Br SO4 and the CO NH3 whole 5 SO4 Br. So, see here again the bracket has changed. Hmm. Whenever I said there is sulfate ion or bromine ion, okay, the bracket has changed. So, this will be your link, uh, this, uh, this will be your ionization isomerism. We have done this. See here CO NH3 whole 4 Cl2 NO2 and here it is uh, this molecule also CO NH3 whole 4 Cl NO2. Again, there is Cl. So, whenever there is nitro group, what did I say? It will form your linkage isomerism because this NO2 can form your O and O group also to gives you linkage isomerism. Now see this this one among nickel uh, NiCO whole 4 hmm, NiCN whole 4 2 minus and NiCl Cl whole 4 2 minus. So these are the compounds given to you and uh, they are to, um, so see here you have to see whether which one is your diamagnetic or paramagnetic. See since your cobalt and your cyanide these are your uh, you can see, hmm, strong field ligands. So since this uh, carbon monoxide and your Cn minus ion are strong field ligands so what will it form? It will uh, tell the electrons to pair up okay so the unpaired electron and the dual orbital to pair it pair up so by, when the pairing takes place so there is no unpaired electron left so that times what happens diamagnetism occurs so here nickel nickel uh, if it is carbon monoxide zero this is d8 okay so if it is d8 so how many electrons eight electrons so it will pair up and giving you paired four uh four electrons so this is your diamagnetic this one is also your diamagnetic and this nickel cl since chlorine is a weak field ligand so it will uh, it will go for your high spin complex and it is ferromagnetic in nature so these two are diam uh, these two are diamagnetic number c will be answer where and ico whole four and nicn this are your diamagnetic and nicl whole four two minus is your paramagnetic now the type of isomerism present in your nitro pen uh, pentamine chromium three chloride so just first write the structure okay so what did it say chromium 
uh, the metal ion is chromium okay uh, that means your pentamine NH3 group it is 5 NO2 nitro group is also there okay and there is a chloride ion chloride Cl minus oh what it will be see here so Cr3 plus ammonia this is pentamine and there is a nitro group and your Cl so whenever there is nitro group what did I say it will go for your linkage isomerism hmm. it's because it can form your NO group and NO2 group and your O and O group also now this complex the complex this and this oh, see here there is a, a exchange of the ligands hmm, exchange of the groups so it is coordination isomerism now see platinum ammonia complex bromide then here is the platinum ammonia bromine complex see here the here what happens this is iso uh, ionization isomerism why because see the bracket there there is change in the ligands between the brackets so it is your ionization isomerism composition of the coordination spheres yields which type of isomer so change in composition of the coordination sphere between the coordination sphere there is change of ions so it is your ionization isomerism now which type of isomerism is shown by this see no2 group again nitro group is there so linkage isomerism 